my biggest dream was travel and, and play foot at the same time. Like seriously, I I don't have many many dreams about foot. I don't want to win the World Cup. I, I don't care. I just wanna wanna travel and I learn as much as I can. Since I was a kid, um, I train I train a lot. I train hard. I train every day of my life. Sometimes two times a day. Sometimes three times a day. A day. And yeah, you you learn a lot. Like about both futsal, but you learn a lot as a um, as a life because it's it's not easy. Maybe like all, all your friends are going to so to have fun, to, to go out, to enjoy, and, and you are training every day. So it's it's very good for uh, for you as a as a sportsman, but it's, it's very good as a as a life, you know. Well, uh, I came here because since, since I was a kid, um, I was dreaming to to travel the world and play futsal at the same time. And Australia always been my my first choice. Uh, I don't know re really why, but yeah, it was was my first choice because maybe I was watching television, all the animals, or or the or the beautiful beaches and stuff. So yeah. Giobata began playing for Pasco Vale in Melbourne thanks to the help from his fellow Pasco Vale and Italian teammate Matteo Rocca. The two met through Facebook, where Matteo was a supporter of Giobata's club in Italy. Giobata posted a status on Facebook whilst he was still living in Venice, saying he wanted to play futsal in Australia. Despite Matteo not knowing Giobata personally, he responded to the post as they were in desperate need of a goalkeeper. Giobata agreed to the offer and a few days later, the captain of Pasco Vale, Andre Caro, contacted him through Skype, discussing the possible switch to Melbourne. The foot in Australia is, is very different from, from the foot in Italy. But I came here last year, and after a few months, uh, I could see the difference from, from, from the beginning. So the footer is, is improving, but it's, it's still far from, from the European footer. Uh, in, in Italy, I can, I can tell about Italy, uh, it's full of amazing players. Like, amazing players means players that play the, the World Cup with Italy, with, with Spain, with Brazil. So, so the best player in the world. Uh, also here, there are like a few, a few good, good players, but as I told before, like uh, they they play in, in different teams, so it's no it's not very 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 hard competition here. Well, one of the many overseas players that play here in the um, in the V League from, from overseas countries. What do you think you and the other impact has been, like especially for yourself, on, on different goalkeepers here? You've obviously taught them a lot. Yes, as I said before, like in, in Vilinga and Pascove, there are a lot of people from, from overseas, in particular from Brazil and Europe. And it's very good for, for Australia because uh, these, these, this kind of player from overseas, they can bring some, some experience and some knowledge to, to Australia because like we, we, we used to play futsal since we were kids and it, like, it's, a, it's, a, it's a culture, so it's very good for, for Australia. And yeah, for me in particular, I work with uh, with the keepers, like with the uh, with the kids, but also with uh, with a, a, um, a senior keeper. And yes, like uh, I, I could see a big a big change when when I start when I came here first. And after after a few months of training, I could see like uh, how they, they they can improve. So I'm very happy to to see this. So. For the next generation of players, it's going to be much, much easier to play, play futsal. And hopefully they are going to, going to learn how to play futsal and how to de develop the, the sport here. Okay, and so what's next for Jumata Bianchi in the future? Uh, in the future, hopefully I'm going to go to Japan in a, in a few weeks. And in Japan, is is a very, 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 very hard because... Go, go to Japan is very hard because they are professional as Italy. And so it's a it's a big challenge for me because uh, I'm, I'm not training training hard here in, in the last yeah I didn't train much me because as you know yeah yeah it's not it's not a professional sport the futsal so the player they, they don't get paid and so you can you can play futsal and live at the same time so you must you must work and it means that sometimes you can train and you can sometimes you can miss some 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 games uh, whatever so yeah it's, it's a big difference still. And then going to live in Japan is is going to be very hard also for uh, for the culture because it is very different from here and very different from Italy. And I be there alone without my family, my friend. So it's going to be hard, yeah, with a, with a full stop, also with a, with a lifestyle in general. Okay, thank you very much.
Thanks. <laughs>